Flames Talk is brought to you by Molson, made from Canada. Beaches Quality Drywall, not just our name, it's our commitment. And South Centre Fine Cars, your Calgary Porsche dealership. Uh, let's kind of uh, look back and talk about some of the issues of the past week. Uh, Stamps win in Montreal, a big win there. Uh, right now, it's as good as it gets in the CFL, I think. Last week, a lot of scenarios, the division titles are up for grabs in both divisions. It uh, doesn't get any better for the fans, does it? No, it doesn't. It's been a kind of a year where you uh, are wondering who's going to be in first. You kind of uh, uh, get upset with the Stamps for not being there, then falling back. But now I guess it's the per perfect scenario for wanting to watch the last game of the season to see who gets home field advantage. The, f the Stamps, fun to watch. Sure. Yep. Make mistakes. Who cares? Mistakes, if you can recover from those mistakes, mistakes in sport are great. Had this discussion with Brent Sutter. You know, NHL coaches don't want teams, coaches don't want teams to make mistakes, but fans do, because if, if mistakes are exciting to watch. So uh, the Stamps turn mistakes and they can uh, rebound and do some good things. So they're a fun team to watch, just like the league's fun to watch right now. And they're in a position, they may have to win on the road, but they are a team that you never know what they're going to get, what you're going to get from them. They could surprise some people. As I always said, you just have to get hot the last few games of the season. Well, do you know what you're going to get from Montreal? Do you know what you're going to no, get from Winnipeg? No, that's, that's, that's the point. That's exactly, the point. Yeah. That's the point with the only five thing, guys at 10 and 7, Grant. The only big difference in the last couple of weeks watching the Stamps now, I have confidence as a viewer or as a fan or as a commentator thinking they can rebound, where before... When they were making mistakes, I was kind of going, oh, my God. There we go again. Yep. It's not, they're not going to be able to pull it out. For whatever reason right now, and especially that Montreal game, you can watch even though if they screw up in the short term, you've, you get a feeling. You want to see what they can do. And I'm really impressed by the defense. Even when they screwed up a little bit, which wasn't very often against Montreal, they were able to hold. So that, that should give Stamps fans some confidence from here on in. Are they going to win? I don't know. I'd probably put money on other teams first, but at least I give, I have confidence the Stamps will make a game out of whoever yeah, they play. Yeah, they've got a chance. They've got a chance. That's all you can ask for, right? Right. Especially when you looked at the turmoil they had and, you know, as we've talked about, changing of the guard and making those changes. Huffnagel, uh, for, you know, has done what a lot of coaches wouldn't would be afraid to do, Grant, and make those yeah. changes this late in the game and go. Two-thirds of the way or whatever yeah. it is, seven-eighths of the way into the season. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a ballsy move. But it just seems now, uh, like we were saying a week or two ago, that this team, this the younger guys are gravitating towards Drew Tate running this sure. team, and that seems to be working right now. Uh, even Johnny Ferzani after the game in Montreal, who's had success against Montreal now this year, uh, both games, he really gives a lot of credit to Drew Tate and so there just seems to be something working. Will that last? Who knows? But it's working in the short term and making this team competitive at the right time of the year. We talked about this uh, last week, and the more this situation seems to be playing out, the more it looks like Tate is the man of the future and Henry will be on the outside looking in. The more I look around the league, the more spots I see as landing spots for Henry Burris. I look at uh, Winnipeg. Uh, you never, Buck Pierce is going to get hurt. And after that, it's up and down. Uh, you what about the Riders? Would he go back to the Riders no, again? No, Durant is too, too... They love Durant there, and he, he's too good. He, he, but, I mean, a, yeah, I mean, I, Durant is too good, and he is the number one guy. Yeah. But if Henry, maybe he, Henry could be a 1B guy. No, no, I mean, no, no. He's only got a couple of years left. Why would you waste it as a backup? So the scenario, I think, you know, they talk about that. So you still believe he can be a starter? Sure I do. Maybe not here. I'm not, cons I'm not convinced That's of that. Fine. I'm, con I'm convinced he's got some legs left in this game, but perhaps it's to be like Jarius Jackson is in uh, Vancouver, where, you know, a, a good 1B, a, good a yep. secondary well, that, that quarterback. Well, could be. I mean, you look at... Uh, Wouldn't that he, be great it, for the Riders, though, Mike? Wouldn't that be great? Is, Henry comes back. I think that would be a huge story. <laughs> but what about Hamilton? You can, I mean, That's a almost, brutal, brutal place right now for quarterbacks. Yeah. And, and then, of course, we talk about Toronto. But, and then there's still the odd rumor, Grant. And you keep hearing the odd rumor out of Montreal that Cavillo doesn't want to come back next year. He's saying sometimes... This he, has not been a great year for him. Oh, no. It's been an up-and-down year. It's been sure. a good year. He broke the record. Yeah. 
for the most passing yards in all of football. But it has been an up and down year. Maybe that's weighing on him a little bit. Um, I want to ask you, when you watched that game yesterday, uh, two things came to mind when Joffrey Reynolds, rarely used right now, gets a swing pass, fumbles the ball. I mean, that was terrible. And then when Henry Burris couldn't even do a quarterback sneak, which yep. I'm going, my gosh, they, they, they both have just lost confidence and lost that from not doing reps, from not being the go-to person. They, you just lose it so quickly. Yeah, and it, and it is, you got to do it. And that's the whole thing. You've got to do it. You've got to, you, you've got to, but. You got to perform. You got to make plays. Yep, the right, the light comes on, as you say, and you got to perform. But uh, great weekend. I want to ask you about the, uh, the Flames. Uh, Roman Hort, four points in two games. Uh, of course, when we record, they've got Vancouver coming up, so we'll ignore that game. Uh, but this is beautiful for the Flames. If this can, if this can last, and the kid gets more confidence and he can go on, but when you have a team like the Flames, who everyone calls a bunch of seniors, <laughs> fresh blood, young talent, excitement, that's exactly what they need. Exactly what they need. Yeah. Absolutely. I talked to Ken King, the president, before the season began. I said, Ken, you've got an okay team. What you need is a bit of a wow factor. You need a reason for the media and the fans to sort of watch and go, wow, yeah. did you see the kid? And little did I know it would be Roman Horak. Nobody thought it would be Roman Horak. Of course, he was involved in a Tim Erickson trade, the Flames' first round pick from a number of years ago. Flames couldn't sign him up, so they had to make a trade with the Rangers, and they got this uh, pick, mm -hmm. Roman Horak. Nobody had heard of before. Yeah. And I remember talking to people saying, well, he's not going to make the Flames. He has an outside chance of ever making the NHL. So it's a great story. And I think you like, he's not, a, he's not a fancy kid. You don't see him going crazy when he scores a goal, and he has been doing that. He's a real humble kid. He's learning, just 20 years old. It is a great story for a team that's pretty, in my opinion, boring to watch. Not an exciting team. And that's what Coach Sutter wants in the play, is a boring defense-first philosophy. They're working it pretty good right now. So Horak, to me, is something a little bit of exciting to watch because I'm bored by watching this team. Yeah. Are you? Oh, I am. Some wins would Your wins. Help. Well, <laughs> well they, they had some wins. They yeah. had some wins against Colorado and St. Louis last week. Yeah. But, Mike, they, it was putting me to sleep. Yeah. There was only on a couple of occasions during the course of the game when it was exciting. Still, without Mika Kiprasov, this team is nothing. And to me, in the NHL nowadays, you, you need good goaltending, but if you have to depend on that goalie all the time, you're not a very good team. You were ready to trade him last week. Well, I would, last week? Well, I, to me, this team is, four, is, 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 is 500, right? Is, yeah. is, is 500, maybe a little above, maybe a little below. Uh, as the week begins, 4-4-1. Four, four and one. And that's where the Flames are going to be, Mike. Yeah. You know, they're a little bit better, maybe a little bit worse. So to me, I don't care if long as you're building and you get something back, that's, that's great. To me, again, like Kiprasov, building for the future doesn't matter to me because I'm giving up on this season. Can utility be a poster? Can utility keep you up at night dreaming? Can utility put thoughts in your head? Depends on what you mean by utility. Introducing the new Porsche Cayenne and Cayenne S Hybrid. Lighter, more agile, more efficient. More Porsche than ever.